Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade PHP on ZAMP. ZAMP comes with um, PHP 8.2 as well as 8.1, 8 and uh, different versions of PHP 7. Um, so I'm going to be upgrading um, a current version which will be 8.2 to 8.3. So let's begin. So I'm going to start by clicking the Windows Start button and I don't have to search for ZAMP because ZAMP is uh, already here, so I'll click that and that will open up ZAMP. And I'm going to start up the Apache service. Okay, that seems to be running. It's green, there we go. So click admin to, to uh, load up the default PHP website. There we go. And if I click PHP, PHP info, get a link at the top. It's going to show me the current PHP version, so I'm on 8.2.12. Okay, so we're now going to actually, the first thing I'm going to do before upgrading is I'm actually going to back up PHP. So if I go back to ZAMP, click the, actually, no, if I go to config and then select the browse PHP option. So this is the PHP folder with all the files. I actually need to go back. So if I go to ZAMP and you've got the PHP folder here. So I'm going to right click this PHP folder, select copy, and then click in the uh, ZAMP folder and then click paste. And it's copying the file. So it will copy it to a new folder. Okay, and I've got the uh, copy uh, PHP folder, so I'm just going to rename this. If I click rename, so I'll rename this to PHP 8.2 dash backup. So the reason why I'm going to do this is just in case something goes wrong, because I'm going to be copying files over into this PHP folder. So let's say I wanted to go back to PHP 8.2, I can just uh, pretty much you re, uh, rename this folder back to PHP and then just use this folder. So the backup's done. Next step will be to download the uh, uh, version of PHP that I want to upgrade to. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome, load that, search for PHP. So php.net, that's the website I want to go to. Click this link and click the download and the binaries are available for microsoft windows that's the link you want and yes at the moment um we're on php 8.4 the reason why i'm not going to upgrade to 8.4 is because when i tested this out there were actually some errors with php 8.4 and it was recently released so Maybe after a few uh, patch versions of 8.4 have been released, then I might try again and see if um, I can get ZAMP working without any errors. But just just know right now, like if you use 8.4, some errors will occur when you're using ZAMP. So that's why I'm going to use 8.3 instead. So if I scroll down, and you've got 8, PHP 8.3, and we want the thread safe version. So click the zip link under the thread safe version and I'll download PHP 8.3. Okay, that's finished downloading. So I'll just go to into the download folder, right click, extract and extract all. Okay, and we've got all the PHP files here for 8.3. So I'll keep this Explorer open. So if I minimize this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to ZAMP. So if I click this. So before um, switching over the version of PHP, I wanna make sure that um, Apache isn't running. So click the stop button. And then Apache will stop running. The reason why you wanna do this, because when you try to copy the files, it may not let you because um, the files are on use, but I should be able to copy them over with Apache stopped. So once that's stopped now, so I wanna go back to Explorer. So I've clicked the Explorer button and yep, this is the 
lamp folder so click so i want the php folder so if i open that so i've got the php folder here for xamp and i've got the php the php 8.3 file folder that i've downloaded right here okay so in the 8.3 so i'm going to click the top folder scroll down and then i'm going to hold down the shift key and click the bottom file and that will highlight everything so right click on the highlighted files select copy and go back to the um the other explorer window the one with zamp and inside the php uh, folder right click paste and you'll get a pop-up yes you want to replace all the files in the destination click that and there we go we'll just replace the files and if i minimize those explorer windows go back to zamp start up apache again okay and that's running fine without any errors okay so if we go back to admin click on the admin button load up the default website so and want to go back to php info because that will show me the current version of php and there we go we're on php 8.3 so we've actually upgraded our version of uh, php on zamp i hope this video has been helpful to you leave a comment below if you have any queries or issues and thanks for watching